Hello and welcome. So Michael here and in this video I'm going to guide you through a very simple, very nourishing way to wake up. So when we wake up each morning the body is usually stiff and cold and the tissues are kind of locked up. And if you're like me at all, the last thing I feel like doing is, you know, doing 20 sun salutations or going for a 10 mile run. Usually what I feel like doing and what I do do is I get up and I go to the toilet and I make myself a cup of tea. So for example, I'm really into Turkish tea at the moment. So I make myself a cup of tea. Warm tea is good because that helps warm up the system. And then I want to sit down and just kind of gain my senses again, right? So find somewhere to sit. Um, if I've got a view, I look at a beautiful view. And I try not to look at my phone, you know, trying to get rid of that. And so while I'm sitting and sort of gaining my senses, this is the perfect practice to do because it's gentle, it's easy. You can do it while you're sipping your tea and it just gets everything moving in the correct direction. So afterwards, you feel warmer and then you're then you're probably ready if you want to go do a 10 mile run or do you know sun salutations or do anything more dynamic you're in that place where you actually feel up for it okay so let's begin so with the cup of tea okay. so sit and generally the rule is you start from the head and we open up and uh, wake up the body down to the feet so bring the hands to prayer and rub them. Good. And then we start with face wash. So down, sort of the front of the face, up the side of the face. And that's the circle. So nine times. Good. Next one, get the fingers quite stiff and run them through the hair, dredging, stimulating the skull nine times. Good. Your hands, let them come to the back. Just squeeze the back of the neck. And there's these parts um, where the occipital is, so just either side of the spine, about an inch. There's a soft bit. Just use your thumb and sort of scrape and up the back of the skull area. Really good to sort of release stagnation, you know, and get the brain kind of communicating through the neck a bit better. Good. Just kind of wakes you up. Good. Then from here, grab the opposite ear and just rub it for 30 seconds or so. Pull on it, other side. Ah. Good. Then similar, you go across the opposite side to the back of the neck, and then you look uh, forward, and then you look into the hand as you pull the hand. Uh, just don't let the hand come onto the front of the neck, it's too fragile, so you're just dragging to the side of the neck and you can even let it come down onto the shoulder a bit more. So just do this like six times. And the other side. Good. The next one's the neck. So he's kind of draining the neck. So just slide. Lymphatics, very important the neck, good, so it's more gentle, good. And so now it's kind of like sinking down and then into the chest, we call it like dredging. So just get your fingers and it's kind of like you're just sliding the fingers out over the chest, waking up the tissue, dredging the fluid. Good. The next one, hand on the opposite side, kind of where the shoulder meets the chest. There's a uh, lung points in there. And just make circles in this area, say 18 circles, any direction. Good. 
and then you can also let your body wiggle a little bit as we go through this so don't get too stiff again this is about getting everything flowing again once we've done the 18 circles then we run down the outside of the arm all the way to the fingers and then we roll up the inside of the arm to the armpit over up so do this nine times three four five six seven eight nine good and the other side so back into that lung point 18 circles Take a breath, let yourself wiggle a bit, down the outside of the arm now, up the inside nine times. Good. Have a sip of tea, take your time. You can also do this routine, you know, seated on a chair and you know, just adjust to that. And if you're sitting on the floor, definitely use a cushion to sit on. It's much easier. Good. The next one, so we're sort of more now into the torso. So bring the hands to the chest for the males, left hands on the bottom, females, the right hands on the bottom. And then from here, just make circles in the chest. So I've just got to watch my microphone. So you can maybe go bigger circles than me. Do 18 circles any direction. And then 18 circles the other direction. Rest a little bit after the 18, you'll feel the warmth in your hands and just get an image of your heart and just send a little bit of heat, a little bit of love to your heart. And good morning. Good. And moving down the torso now, so I use the three fingers, kind of in the solar plexus, just below the sternum. And you make circles like this. And after you feel the circles in the solar plexus, then start to make the circles go down, directly down towards the pu uh, pubic bone. Just do the best you can. You might have belts and stuff, but just work with that or work around it. And just do it a few times, say three to six times, circles down the belly to the pubic bone. We're getting the, the chi, everything to go in the correct direction in the morning. And if we spend, you know, this five minutes or so getting everything flowing in the right direction, it just makes the rest of the day so much easier. It's just kind of like a, like a creek or a stream has got like logs in it from the night or from a storm. Right? And we're just going to the stream and we're just removing the logs and cleaning it up a bit so it can flow. Good. And then you get your little belly button or just below your belly button and just give it a few extra circles. This is a very important point. Just enough circles so you can feel it kind of on, switch on. You've got more awareness down there now. All right, good. Then let's go over to the rib cage. So arm up and then nine circles on the ribs, opposite side. And a deep breath. <clears throat> Good, other side, nine circles. Three, four, five. Another breath. Ah, and then while we're on the belly, let's do big circles. So 
You can do one hand on top of the other, or you can just do like this, up to you. We'll do about 36 circles. Let your hands kind of explore a little bit. You find parts of your body that might feel like they need a bit more love. <sighs> so in this kind of basic approach is Taoist yoga, there's no absolutes. So everything's adaptable, everything's flexible. You can adjust as you go. They're more like guiding principles. Feel that belly. And then when you get there, just again, rest the, rest the warm hands on the lower belly and just take a breath or two. Feel the warmth in the belly now, smiling. And your intestines, smiling at your belly. Kidneys now on the back, so rub the hands, get a bit of warmth again. Just bring one hand, you know, either hand with the fingers down and just go up and down, around and around, just a few times just to get some warmth going. Good. And then let the fingers kind of ride down to the sacrum, so kind of where the bone starts at the base of the spine. And just use your fingers, so I'm kind of like. My fingers are just kind of massaging around my sacrum and around my lower back. So just do that. It's kind of, again, it's about waking it up. It's a very important part of the body again. Ah, and you'll feel a bit of warmth. Good. And then slowly, slowly release to come out. So now you should feel quite a bit of warmth happening in the body, all the way down, pretty much to your waist. It's all kind of warm and smooth. Now we go into the legs. So one leg out at a time. I just do that. And I like use my hands to kind of put pressure and sort of slide on my thighs to wake them up. Now these are the biggest, some of the biggest muscles in the body. So give them a little bit of juice. And then the knees, so after a little bit, come to the knees, hands like so, and just make circles, nine circles in one direction. Nine circles back the other way. Really important to look after your knees, for obvious reasons. And when you're doing this, see if you can get that rocking happening. So not, not stiff and doing that, but when you're doing it, it's more like your whole body is involved. Good. And then we just swap over. So, yeah, can fit. Have another cup of tea, have a sip. Again, sliding, kind of massaging the thighs, waking them up. Come to the knees, nine circles in one direction. Nine circles the other direction. Good. And we go down further, so I go back to the other leg. And then what I like to do is I get again the three finger thing and I place it in the center of my hamstrings in the back of my leg. And I just sort of draw it up and squeeze as I go towards my knee, back of my knee. So I might just do it once or twice up the, just to wake the hamstrings up. When I get to the back of the knee with my fingers, just massage into the back of the knee. It's actually a really important point, especially for the lower back. So just massage it, give it a wiggle. Good. And then we're down to the calves. So. I hand either side of the, the leg and I just like to do 
that, just to kind of wake up the muscles and stuff. <sighs> All right, good. And then what I do is I get my, my thumb, I tuck it underneath my fingers, and now I've got this base, this bone kind of sticking out, the base of my thumb. And not too strongly, but quite firm. So you've got the bone down the shin bone. So on just on the side of that, you've got the stomach meridian, you've got gallbladder, and these are very important points for overall health and vitality. Stomach 36, uh, uh, gallbladder 34. And what I do is I get that thumb and I just, I just sort of run it down. And you'll feel the points. It's kind of like a... <laughs> a very waking up feeling <laughs> when you get them. And it feels good. Stomach, uh, uh, gallbladder 34 on the side of the shin, on the side of the calf is really good for all musculoskeletal health. Good. And then that's pretty much it. I run it down, I go to the other one, so then I repeat. So get the three fingers, squeeze up the middle of the hamstrings, just to wake them up. And then when I get to the knees, just squish the back of the knees. It's pretty soft in there. Good. Then we go over to the, the calves. Just wake them up. Good. The other one, tuck the thumb, the big bone sticking out, and just start to run it down the side of the calf muscle. Good. So all the way, we've done everything. Now we're going down to the ankles, or the legs. So then I come towards butterfly. If you're in a chair, you can just do one at a time, that's fine. And what you do is you get your, you just sort of rub the inside of the ankles as best you can, you know. Maybe not elegant. And <laughs> maybe take a while to get used to it, to get your hands right. Around the ankles, Use the massage. Use your thumbs a bit. And then let those hands out come onto the bridge of the feet. So let the thumbs slide and massage into the bridges of the feet. Just work it into the feet. This really wakes up everything. And now we've hit all the main meridians. We're getting the blood flow happening. We're waking up the connective tissue. Everything's, you know, switched on. Everything's getting lubricated. And it doesn't, it's not hard. It's actually quite nice, right? You don't have to slam your body. You don't have to like do crazy things to, to get switched on. You just do this nice sort of self nourishment. And then eventually let the thumbs actually ride down and in more into the center of your feet, the soles. And there's the kidney point in there. And just sort of squish and massage the inner sole of your foot, moving the thumb around. And again, let your whole body kind of move. Good, and then just releasing. And the other one I, we can do, up to you. Bring one leg forward, and then put the other foot, the toes, into the top of that foot and massage it, or squish it around the top of the foot. Other side.
And then that's pretty much it. Then you come back to the center. The whole body's been touched or activated in some way. All right. Then I usually just sort of shake off. Circle the knees a little bit. Sort of shake off the shoulders. And then lastly, wash the face again. But this time, let the hands go all the way back to the neck. One, two, and three. And bring the hands together if you like. Put a nice little image in the mind, a little smile of something you want to generate today or send out today. Some love, happy face. Take a breath. And then when you're ready, just relax. And that's it. That's the wake up routine, super gentle. You can do it while you're drinking your tea. So now you should feel nice and warm and ready to rumble to do whatever you need to do. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.